On this screen, you'll create invitations to send out to people who are attending your party. I've populated it again with the example of Tom's birthday. Then you can choose if you're going to send paper invites, e-card invites, or both. I've selected both so you can see those options for each of them below. Whenever you create a party, names and email addresses are stored in your address book so you can find them again in the future. So you can choose to either add from your address book or manually type in names and email addresses for the party attendees. Use the buttons on the right to delete someone or the green button with the plus mark to add someone. Then you'll choose your greeting by selecting one of the pre-made statements that we have or you can create your own. This will go on the cover of your paper invitations or at the top of the e-card invitations. When you create paper invitations, you just select the images that you want for the cover and for the inside image, and then you can preview it like this. Once that's done, select one of the images in this box for your e-card invite. And then scroll down, and you can put in either a date that those e-cards will be sent out by the system, or you can send them now. You can also check this box to include an RSVP link to this website so that your party guests can respond back to you right away if they're going to be able to attend your party or not. After that, click the Save Preview Print button and you'll be able to go to the next screen to print out these invitations and verify that all the information is correct on them. After that, you can create activities.